Your living room is supposed to be a private space, so why is your TV spying on you? Hello, I'm Freddie and welcome back to another episode of Freddie Untracked. Today I want to talk about one of the worst perpetrators, if not the worst culprit, for digitally tracking your family your smart TV. Most smart TVs run a background feature called ACR, that's Automatic Content Recognition. It might sound harmless, but really it means your TV is constantly taking snapshots of everything that appears on your screen and sending it back for data profiling. A 2024 study from University College London found that one major smart TV maker was capturing snapshots of your screen as often as every 10 milliseconds silently sent off for profiling and analysis. Be that an app that you looked at, a news broadcast that interested you, a pause frame on YouTube, literally every second you sit looking at your TV, it's sending back streams of data on you and your household. And all of that is creating a hyper detailed fingerprint of all of your family's life and interests. And you've probably consented to this already without even realizing what you were clicking OK to. Now we factor in that many of these smart TVs are also running Android software. That means companies like Google get yet another window into your home life. Now here's the good news. You don't need to go off grid or throw your TV out the window altogether. There are a few options you can do to lock things down. In this video, I'll show you three approaches to taking back control of your telly. I'll start with quick wins, simple changes that anyone can make today. Then I'll go on to what I'm calling a balanced setup, a realistic approach for most families. And then we'll do an advanced setup, those who want to lock down their privacy with maximum control. You'll find options for every budget and comfort level. Let's start untracking your living room. Next, we're gonna start with the quick wins, the easy things that you can do right now. If you've got kids, I get it. Sometimes you just need five minutes of peace and a screen feels like one of the easiest solutions. But instead of firing up YouTube, there are so many other options. Try your local public service broadcasters or dedicated kids services, which offer curated content. They're likely going to be better for privacy than feeding into the same ecosystem owned by Google. I'm not saying never use it because, well, why would I be here? But be mindful about when you use it because there is so much great content elsewhere available. If you do use YouTube, set up a dedicated kids profile, use it as a last resort, but not your default. Make sure you lock down its data collection, go into settings on the YouTube kids app, choose your child's profile, turn off search. That stops YouTube from building a deeper watch history pause or clear watch history regularly. This won't block everything, but it cuts down on a huge amount of data collection and makes the algorithm far less powerful. Next, in terms of your smart TV itself, start by locking down the features. This is the first step I'd urge anyone to do. On your smart TV, go into settings and disable things like personalized ads, viewing data collection, if you have a separate media box or a streaming device, disconnect from Wi-Fi on the smart TV entirely but do note the minute it connects back to the net, it will be sending all the data it has on you straight back. Your TV doesn't need the internet to work as a screen. If you've plugged in a streaming box, you can let that handle everything. Now let's begin with what I'm calling the most balanced setup. This is the one that I think is most realistic for most families to start with. Step one, instead of using the built-in services offered on the smart TV, I'd suggest getting an actual external streaming device. There are a raft of different options out there which will give you more control over your privacy settings and there will be something for any budget. There are many articles out there suggesting what to go for. Apple's TV box reportedly doesn't do any automatic content recognition. You should change the default privacy settings on it though to limit analytics and ad tracking. Roku is another option that repeatedly gets mentioned for letting users have more control over the ad tracking in the device. Neither of these are perfect, but they do offer users some control over the settings in comparison to their smart TV. I would step your security up by blocking the trackers at a network level. There are services that stop the trackers from being able to actually phone home. That means accessing the servers that they use to send the data back. There are many companies that do this. NextDNS is one that offers a free tier. Set up a simple, you create your own account. On your streaming device, you go into the network settings and configure the DNS from there. The instructions will be on the website. 
And finally, this is the advanced setup. This is for the tech enthusiasts who don't mind getting their hands a little dirty with a bit of tech DIY. This is almost maximum privacy. Well, the setup, you start with a Pi hole. This runs on a tiny computer that attaches to your router that runs across the whole home network and blocks ads and trackers. Every device benefits automatically. Now, next DNS, which I mentioned before, would actually already be blocking a lot of this. But sometimes devices do actually try and look for other ways to phone home if they find their queries aren't getting through the normal routes. Then you're going to need to download some free software called Jellyfin. This is open source and it lets you host your own streaming service at home. You store your movie and TV collection on a hard drive and stream it to any device. Now this does become a bit complicated as there aren't actually that many places you can buy movies and TV shows to download to own. Trust me, because of research for this video, I now own a copy of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera from 2011 that I can only watch via Sky Go. I'll do a full tutorial on the Pi Hole and Jellyfin in a future episode if there's interest let me know in the comments remember all this big tech is designed to be invasive and all the data profiling and everything else that's going on behind the scenes is designed to be hidden it's going to be difficult to shut everything down and you don't have to shut everything down all at once it is a process even just turning off personalized ads and disconnecting your smart tv from wi-fi will make a huge difference and if you want more tips on building a healthier digital life for you and your family follow and subscribe Freddy Untracked.